Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about Ipsy. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. And if you are someone who keeps looking at my videos but you have not subscribed yet, you need to have a little talk with yourself and really dig deep and say, why am I not subscribing to this girl? Like really? probably wondering where I am I am back at home and I have a wedding to go to so that's why I'm not in Savannah right now but anyway as y'all know I got behind my September video so now I am trying to pick it up and get caught up and I didn't get to do my September Ipsy bag so I just decided to do my September bag and my October bag so let's get into it. So for September, this is what the bag looks like. This bronze color, very pretty. It's a little transition into fall bag. And you can see this texture that it has on it, which is very nice. And it's just, you know, like a solid on the back. So let's dig in. One of the first products that I got was this. City Color City Chic Lip Stick and it is on my lips right now. Very pretty. Um, this is what it looks like. And the color is Jetam. I went on the website to see what these retail at and it is at $4.99. So that is a very good price for these, considering the fact it's really creamy and it comes, it glides on nice. I didn't have to, you know, put a lot on for it to, you know, show up. So it has very good pigmentation, as you can see. And you should definitely go on their site because they have a lot more shades. So definitely go check their site out the next product that I got I got this Ipsy NYX palette and it comes with three shades I'm not a big NYX shadow palette person because I bought their I think it was like their natural palette or their nude palette it was one of them and it was like a good size palette. I was like, mm, this is pretty good for the price it was. It was like from 5 to $7. When I tried it out, I wasn't impressed and I thought, I was like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I went on YouTube to see the reviews for it and people were, you know, disappointed as well. So I was like, oh, okay, so it's not really me. But this is what it looks like. You get these three shades. You get a light shade, a medium, and then the dark shade. Um, and so, and you also get this little applicator at the bottom, of course. So I'm going to show you what they look like. So the first shade, which is this light one, it looks like this. Pretty sheer. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like, put on my hand. So you can see, like, you can't really is super sheer especially on my skin tone and I'm just like eh. mm. well, let's try this the middle tone let's see that's what it looks like well let's see that's what it looks like as you can see it's very pretty when you when you pat it Pat it down a little when you pat it. Um, let's see, rub it here. Uh, once again, like super, very sheer. And I guess, like, if you're a person who's not really into makeup yet, like, you're afraid of experimenting, then you could try this. I would suggest maybe getting this palette just to see what you can do with it and things like that. Or also, like, if you're a person who doesn't want to wear a lot of makeup but you still 
want to look as if you are wearing makeup I would suggest maybe trying this palette because it's you know gentle and I guess you can say for a beginner but for me when I was watching I've been watching videos for so long now I know what I need what I should be buying so yeah so this is the darker palette and it looks like that now that that picks up pretty well but let's see what it looks like on my hand so yeah as you can see that's what you get from it just a little a little bit it's okay so yeah but to look NYX everything in NYX like don't just cause this little palette is kinda like eh their lip colors are they are dynamite I would definitely suggest that you go and try them out as well or even watch other videos and see if people have done swatches on their lip colors um, I know for sure that you can find their brand at Target. I'm not sure where else, so maybe try to search around, see if they're at your local drugstore, things like that, and see if you can find their line because they definitely have an array of multiple things. But definitely, once again, if you are new to makeup and you don't want to go all the way out there just yet because you definitely will the more you get into it, I suggest that you go check out Nick. Next product that I have is the Ultra Repair Cream by Fab First Aid Beauty. As you can see, this nice little cute little packaging. I was like, okay, cool. So this smells like it has like that muscle cream smell to it. Muscle cream can be really strong, but this one is actually like a subtle smell, so I don't mind it. And this is de oh, it's, it's got yeah, like that minty, rosemary-ish smell to it. I would definitely use this in the winter time and. It feels nice, y'all. Like if it, it feels really good, like good, like a nice coverage where it's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's in between, and it says that it's for intense hydration. It's an intense hydration for dry, parched skin. So if you're a person who gets dry skin, normally has dry skin, or if you get dry skin in the winter time, I would definitely recommend that you go and try this. You may be turned off by the smell. I don't know, but. I wouldn't mind this smell. I wouldn't mind this smell, especially if it's in the winter or if it's just before I go to bed. And I actually, I get eczema. Lately, I've been getting some, I've been getting eczema on my elbows, like right in this area. So I definitely think this will be great for it. Um, this retails at $6.50 and you can find this at Sephora. Next product that I have is this Octavial Argan Oil, which is for your hair. I went on their website and it said that it was French Argan Oil, which I'm not sure what the difference is, but they made sure to highlight that it was that. So this, the full size, this retails at $29.50, which is pretty high, but I'm assuming, well, because I'm going to assume that it's pure argan oil. Obviously, if it's the pure it is, the more it's going to be. It has, let's see what it smells like. It just, honestly, it doesn't have like a big, like, ooh factor to it. It smells like your typical body hair oil so I'm gonna try this out when I wash my hair because it says to apply to damp hair so I'm gonna see how this works out and hopefully I like it 
The last product that I got is this Elizabeth Mott or Elizabeth Molt. I think it's Mott. Um, Queen of the Phil Tinted Eyebrow Gel. And I have never used a tinted brow gel because I just didn't think I needed it. Nor did I was like, you know, what am I going to do this for? But I actually tried it on so my eyebrows right now. And it's pretty nice. I filled my eyebrows in, but then I applied it on, and it definitely is my color, and it works. This is the color in medium dark. And the retail price, the retail price for this is $20, which is pretty hi and this is I believe this is the full size because I went that website and it was the same amount so this is what it looks like and this is the size you would be getting for $20 applicator looks like this really tiny but it's so cute um so it's cool that I got to try it because that was my first time trying a um uh, tinted brow gel so if you're into that stuff you may want to go into their website and try it out so if you would have gotten the full sizes of these products it would have totaled at $67.99 which is pretty high and that is a lot of quality products in my opinion to be that much I mean it could be a high price item and actually not be great but that's just to let you know that the work that you get with these bags which are only ten dollars a month so the payoff is definitely worth it and um, if you do want some of these products if you are an Ipsy subscriber you can go onto their website and you can get codes for discounts and you can also um, see the other products that they have that you may not have gotten and try those out or buy them and try them out as well. So that is my September bag. Here is the October bag. It is gold on the side and then it's black. So like a two shaded bag. And what I got in this bag, let's see. I got this brush, which is really soft and it's dense as well. It's got some weight to it, which I really like because I feel like brushes who that have some like little weight to it have a little bit more quality as well. This brand is Royal and Langnickel and it is the medium eyeshader brush. The cool thing about this brand when I was on their website is that they sell art brushes and makeup brushes so that's really cool because I've never seen anything like that um, but the retail prices of these brushes if you are familiar with Morphe brushes is around that same price so pretty decent affordable prices especially for affordable brushes and this brush is $3.99 but also the large brush was $3.99 as well so definitely go check these out, especially if you're someone who is trying to grow their brush collection. You should go check them out because this is pretty good, good quality. So I'm glad I can add this to my collection. The next product that I have is this um, Balance Guru Scrub Me Nice and Gritty Body Scrub. And it is organic and USDA certified. If you're a person who loves body scrubs, um, maybe look into this. I use, from time to time, I do body scrubs. But I um, fall off from doing it. But I'm glad I got this so I can try it. Because I've seen lately the scrubs with the coffee grains. And this has coffee in it. You can smell it from a mile away. It has coffee. And it smells like it has mint in it. Like it smells like you put coffee in here and you just put mint all up in here. But the ingredients it has, um, it is raw sugar, organic coffee, 
coconut oil and cocoa butter and it's to exfoliate and moisturize so this is what it looks like this little thing is small but I definitely I think it's gonna do something really nice to my skin my skin is gonna be like whoa what are you doing? This retails at $22.99. Yep, that's a little hefty price. And I think this is like the size. I'm not, when I was on the website, this was the same size that they had. And it said it was $22.99. I don't know. I mean, I'll have to see if this is really worth it. But obviously to some people, it's obviously worth it. Um, so I'm going to try this out. If you tried it, let me know. And this should be fun. Next part I have is this, I don't know if it's pronounced Mika Beauty Cosmetics or Mika Beauty Cosmetics. But this is a cream eyeshadow in bronze. And it looks like this. As you can see, really cool texture. It looks like a, like a, um, tree ring. And... I tried to find this actually, but the thing is, this is exclusive with Ipsy, so you can't find this on their website. So if you are, once again, if you're an Ipsy subscriber, you can go and find this, but this is so pretty. I've never, I don't have a color like this. I have a color, I just bought a color similar to this, but nothing like this. And I will show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, very pretty and definitely pretty for a holiday color um, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, like this is pretty especially on brown skin. It says to use it for a base color, but I would definitely use this on its own, like look at that, it's gorgeous. So I'm definitely going to be using this very soon they do have other like mineralized powders but their powders retail at $14.95 it is a little pricey but seeing from this cream eyeshadow the color pays off so i would go and um check out their website and see if you are interested in it next product i have is this nourish organic argan um face serum and what it has in it is Moroccan oil which is to hydrate and replenish apricot kernel oil which restores and softens and lastly rose hip oil which smooths the skin's texture it's 100% natural and it's USDA certified organic it has a citrus smell it reminds me of Pledge, I'm not going to lie, but not like a bad thing. Um, so I'm definitely going to try this out as well. And then lastly, so cute, I got the Balm Meet Matte Hughes, if you can get it, which is adorable. This is a liquid lipstick and it's in the color Committed. Okay, let's see. That is pretty. Y'all, that is gorgeous. So, it has a minty taste to it, which I also love. Yeah, that is gorgeous. So, definitely try that. That is worth, the full sizes are worth $17. This whole bag retails at $82.92. So, that is pretty decent, y'all. I'm telling you, try this out. Try FCL in one month. I guarantee you, like, you won't regret it. Definitely awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my first video that I did on Ipsy, which tells you how Ipsy works if you're wondering and you're new to this. Make sure you check that out for info. Subscribe. Make sure you like my video. And I will provide a link for you for my first Ipsy video for more info. And I will provide all the links below to all the products and the ipsy website so i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks